What the heck did I learn from being a consultant? At the end of the day, one of the most important factors about a job for new college graduates is learning. McKinsey and the management consulting industry have a really good reputation for this. Everybody talks about it, but mostly in generic terms. So specifically, what the heck did I really learn from my time with McKinsey? Hi, my name is Kim Tran, a former McKinsey consultant and the founder of the platform Management Consulting Prep. Now you probably have heard all over the place about the things we can learn from being consultants. But with this video, I would like to shed a more personal perspective on this. I will not be talking about those generic and cliche things, but I will be down to the ground talking about my own experience and perspective. Hopefully you'll have more of an insider's look into this very important aspect of the consulting job. So to do that, please excuse me for ignoring the Misi principle. Okay, number one, how to tightly manage people. Every mainstream platform talks about how to be a leader in contrast to just being a boss, but every real CEO knows that it's just how they try to appear to be. In order to be a good leader, you have to be a good boss first. Of course, all my managers at McKinsey are amazing leaders, but one of the biggest things I learned from them is how to be a really effective boss. There's no way I could bluff about my work to my managers. In McKinsey, we have a term for it, it's BS. They have an amazing and unexpected set of references, resources, spies, interrogative questions to spot whatever you try to hide. Hey, Kim, how's it going with the survey? Uh, it's going well, I'm, I'm working on it. Of course I know you're working on it. What does well mean? How many have you done? Um, about 12? 12 what? 12 entries? 12 is too few given that you've been working on this for three days. Don't make the training an excuse because it only takes less than one day. That means you have more than two days to get 12 entries. That means six per day and less than one per hour. That's way too slow on the quantity. Now with the quality, show me. That's just one instance of the management I was getting throughout my years with McKinsey. It was tough, but I learned a lot from it. As the founder and CEO of multiple companies and projects with so many moving pieces and so many people, I would not survive without the skills I learned from being on the other side. Number two, be strategic in everything in life. Many consultants say they learn analytical skills. I don't know about you, but I really don't understand what analytical skills means. To me, on my own terms, I've learned how to be strategic in everything I tackle in life, how to get fit, how to improve the, way, the relationship with my parents, how to coach my company's basketball team, how to keep my mind fresh, creative, and peaceful, and the list goes on. I have to admit, I'm not the most gifted in many things in my life, at least compared to the circle of people I know. A lot of people are smarter than I am, more charismatic, more articulate, etc. But I am still more financially successful and happier than most of them, probably thanks to the skill that I picked up from my time at McKinsey. At the end of the day, being strategic is about making the most out of limited resources, including time. So strategic thinking in the workplace can be applied everywhere in your life. The amazing part is that I do it unconsciously. Sometimes I draw out the goals to quantify and specify them and develop the compelling steps, but sometimes my mind does it automatically. Number three, how to learn. As consultants, we are challenged every day to work with stuff we don't know. So even just a couple of months into the work, it already became second nature. It feels completely normal and comfortable realizing you don't know something. Everything can be learned or can be looked up. And it's not just the mindset. You will be really good at that too. Finding the right documents to read, finding the right people to talk to, how to ask the best questions, etc. And the most amazing part yet, we love doing it. It just feels good to learn something new. I've left the firm for years now, but I still have the habit and hobby of learning new things every day. Sometimes they're big skill sets, but sometimes they're just a bit of a life hack everywhere to color up my life. Learn how to read faster, learn about digital marketing, learn how to cook, learn how to ride a dirt bike, learn dancing, learn DJing, learn music theory, learn geography, learn history, and many, many more. This along with the item above about being strategic can make you really, really powerful. Number four, being charismatic and appearing as an attractive and accountable professional. Working in consulting, your appearance will outgrow your age very quickly. Every day, you're forced to appear smarter than you really are. Holding an interview with the vice president on the first week of work, 
training dozens of people who are much older than you, presenting to CEOs, making others do work they don't like doing, and much, much more. You can imagine how big the impact of being in an environment like this almost 24-7 in a couple of years can have on you. This did not only happen to me, but everybody in consulting. We often go to class reunions and realize we look a lot more mature than our peers. Number five, a can-do attitude with high standards. At the end of the day, it's not just about knowing how to do things, but more about having the will to do it. McKinsey taught me this spirit in a multi-layered way. First of all, it's the mindset to not back down regardless of adversity. Consulting is a tough job. It's extremely demanding. Day in and day out, we're asked to do things that seem impossible, either deliver it or get kicked out of the firm. And you know what? Human potentials are just amazing. Time after time, we were shocked to see all the seemingly impossible works we solved. Gradually, it becomes a mindset of achieving. Everything is possible since we already have done so many impossible things in the past. Secondly, there's a saying that I think is very true. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. You unconsciously expect yourself to be as a great of a person as those around you. At McKinsey, I was surrounded with super bright and high achieving people. All of them go forth and do great things. Some stay with the firm and climb really high. Some transition to corporates and become the youngest CEOs of big public companies. Some start their own firms, some get into art and creative fields, etc. No matter what, McKinsey people are exceptionally successful. I know that I must and I can reach those super high standards as well. Okay, those are five brief yet profound items. Surprisingly enough, all of the above have nothing to do with the industry knowledge. Not that I forget them. I'm still in touch with many people in the industry, and we are still very much in the game. But those soft skills and the mindset mentioned above are way more important. They changed my life profoundly. To understand a little better about the consulting industry along with its unique culture, see this video linked here. In that video, I talk about the industry from a different perspective explaining every single characteristic that makes up the very unique consulting culture. Definitely check that out. Well, at Management Consulting Prep, we believe consulting is an amazing job where you can learn and grow exponentially, and you have all the chances to get there. Are you a believer?